to this Unity tutorial about the VR runner. If you hit play, you will be able to move your head in the VR game, as you can see. And uh, you will read the instructions of the game that are roll your hair and move to the right and left. Survive by avoiding the objects and holes. So this is like the main menu. And if you hit start, it will generate the game. So by rolling my head, I'm moving in the game. And I'm avoiding obstacles and avoiding the holes as you can see here. Um, what you can see at the right is the, uh, the spectrum of the sound that is being played at the moment and at the left you can see the score of the game. So for example if I hit an object like this or if I fall it will stop the game as you can see. Okay. So that is how it works. It has that management uh, with the impact of the of the objects and with falling. Okay. So let's explain how this works. So first of all, we have um, these uh, modules here that are uh, model type one, model type two, model type three. So the model type one is just a normal ground without any holes or any objects. The model type 2 has two holes and the model type 3 has uh, three uh, cubes that move from one side to another. So what we do in the game, whenever we hit play, is generate, as you can see here, it's going to be uh, generating different modules whenever it starts. So now while I'm playing, as you can see, different models are being uh, created and other models are being destroyed. So here models are being created and here models are being destroyed. Okay? So that is uh, generated and managed by the uh, model manager. So let's check out how the model manager works really quickly. So what we do is, uh, in the fixed update, we set an elapsed time, which is going to be the time in which the different models are being are created or are destroyed. And uh, as you can see, we instantiate the new um, module and we destroy the uh, old module. Okay, so that's how the infinite runner is created. Next, the player movement. So the player movement is generated or managed uh, with the uh, player movement script. So what we do in this uh, uh, script is get the rotation of the set projection. Projection. So uh, once we got we got that angle, we are able to move the position of the rigid body to the left or to the right. Okay. So that's how the player moves. Then uh, how the music is controlled. So inside the player, we have the music. So the music is really easy to understand. Uh, we uh, just get the spec spectrum data from the, uh, from the sound, which is this line here. And in function of that, we generate different cubes, which are going to move up and down uh, in function of time. So that is what is generated here at the right side, as you can see here with the peaks uh, regarding the music okay so uh, that's the all regarding the music then there's the, the script that controls the scoring is the scoring script that is really easy to understand too it just uh, adds some scores in function of time so in fact it's going to be like counting the steps that the player makes during the game then uh, another feature is the fact that uh, whenever you are playing uh, the lights will change so now the lights are red and the cubes are red and the background is red but uh, in a couple of seconds it will change into blue so that that is another feature of the game 
that is to uh, create a, a better an atmosphere for the player. So uh, as you can see in this texture, you have two different textures for lasers and for the cubes and for the skybox. And in materials, you have the same thing. So in fact, what we do is during um, uh, the, the gameplay, we change the color of the different elements. So you go to colors, color change, and here you have the lines that uh, change the different uh, lasers, cubes, and holes. So in fact, what we do is just find the different game objects that are in the scene, and after that, we change the uh, material to the one we want. So that's all regarding the changement of the uh, of the colors, and um, I think that's all regarding the game and the scripts. I hope you like it. I hope you consider downloading it, and uh, please uh, keep tuned to our channel because we update and we upload different stuff uh, during the weeks.